say that it feels right All right, we're back. Okay. It's good. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna be a jump scare city. This game is made by Funcom. They made one of my favorite MMOs. It was Secret World. Very fun game. It's, I think it's like 19 bucks on Steam, but it, it's a very good game. I wished it was on console so I could play it. I don't have a computer that could play it. I barely had one I could play it back then. The park is a never experience, but best played in a dark room wearing headphones. I'm wearing them. And this would subject to be disturbing to some players. During the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio, control settings, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and should not. Uh oh. Well, thank God I don't have to play for very long tonight. I don't like having heart attacks. Uh, you guys okay in the chat room? I'm going to say one thing. Real quick, just to make sure we're all good. Oh, it said there's no people in here. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Wait. Is the stream just lying to me? Is there people in here? Yeah, y'all are in here. I don't know why the stream's lying to me. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Soldier boy, Callum? God, your pants! Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. Kid. God, the turn sensitivity is way high. Kit, no one gives a fuck about your bear. I'm going to abandon you in this car. Doing well, doing well. Glad you're doing great. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. It's been a... The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Are you done? I was talking. Thank you for joining me tonight. It's been fun. We have only have a few minutes left in tonight's stream, but I will be doing more. I enjoy horror games, and we've had a good time tonight, I think. I'm glad I could entertain y'all. I love to make people laugh and grin and all that, and that's all I want to do. Press X and objects in the world. What we got here? Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Why is my a tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life? May this part be a place of joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect those who follow after. Huh, okay. There's rainbows everywhere, and that sun looks high, so this might actually be a fun, pleasant experience. Might be no horror whatsoever. He said, fully expecting to poop his pants tonight. There'll be at least one jump scare you'll get out of me, I'm sure. Even though we only got a little bit. But I will continue this game after I stop tonight. Hey, Listen to the guy Lorraine. from Reno 911. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. Of course he did. Look how terrible my pants are. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shades of heavy rain. Oh, God. You're not creepy at all. Welcome to the park. 
I don't trust escalators ever. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. I'll agree with on that. This side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. Who's that directly oh, ahead of me? That is him. Attention employee. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Closed. Yeah, me, just, mommy. just run up there and get him. Callum, where are you going? Come on, this way. Kid, are you taking us to the depths of Silent Hill? Oh, yeah, nothing good, pleasant comes from having a laugh like that. I'm just, um, excuse me. Oh, God. The park. What happened here? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Seems, seems, seems about right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, I'm just gonna, um, go. I'm just gonna. Say, nope. Can't jump. Nope. I can't. Just slide or duck under that. I can't leave. Great. I hate seeing that in horror games. Callum. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Man, I need a flashlight. I will end you. What's this map say? I can't read any of that. But my little shit kid went this way. Oh good. The thing I hate the mo- Leaves. The thing I hate the most in this world. Clowns. At least I think that's a clown. It doesn't look anything welcoming. Callum, come back here right now. This way. This is going to be a long 33 minutes. Too dark. I'm not yeah. going in there without a flashlight. Good idea. Don't go in there at all. Get a new kid. That's a light. Just kick it off. Hey, I got feet. And terrible pants, but I can't see them from this side. I don't want to go in there anyway. I'm perfectly fine just walking around here and doing this. Where did you go? This way, mommy. Callum, I'm gonna beat your ass when I catch you. You think you know what an ass beating is? Oh, you wait. That's not a door, is it? No. I swear to God, if we have to go in that clown house first, I'm going to flip every table I come in contact with. Badgers are surprisingly well at flipping tables. And Don't finding out. Don't run from me, Callum. Over here. <laughs> I'm gonna lock you in a bunker. Trust me, it's not a very pleasant experience. I was in one a little while ago. Not many good things happened until I, till the end. Spoiler alert. I lived. Oh good, you're running around barefooted like a dumbass. I think this belongs to Kelm. I can rotate it. You've got to take better care of your shoes. Why are you running across wet asphalt? These shoes are like knockoff Nikes at best. Kelm Over here. Alright. What are you? Chad the Chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the Chipmunk welcomed you to Atlantic Island Park. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows for the following locations. Sideshow Alley, the Octotron, and Park Entrance. Chad the Chipmunk, worst in class. Chad... Chad can't even seem... Seem to pass? Or I'm assuming that means seem to pass. 
Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Um, a very upbeat poem. I I give it a ten out of ten. I'd read it to my kids, who I didn't, who I named Chad. What are you? What's that god awful sound? How do you expect me to read that? What is that sound? Stop, Callum! Come on, mommy. I heard someone talking. I couldn't read that note unless there was a zoom button. I didn't seem to see one. I'm gonna assume it wasn't terribly. In what is that sound? Stop! Collaborate and listen. Okay, let me see this map. You don't do a very good job of telling me where I am. Don't be down there. Callum, stay where you are. Where are you? Is he not that way? Say he's that way. Wait for mommy. He's not this way. Stop! Kill him! So if I look back over here, does it tell me he went this way? That's what I'm assuming is the waypoint. Is his voice. Kill him! Oh, now he's just not responding at all. Okay, I guess... Ugh. I don't like this. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Sure, why not? No. <laughs> oh, this is not going to be pleasant. This is a lovely duck. I wonder if it's a good... Huh? I'm talking nervously. I'm frightened right now. It's oddly quiet. Beautiful scenery. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl. Oh, I know how this ends. It's, it's a happy story. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. Parents of the year. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow no. and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking. I don't and like Gretel this. began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel. Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Mm, no. I walk back the out of here. Morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Oh no. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the No, woods. no, no. When their father leaves them, the children I don't think so. Follow the trail back to their parents' house. I just met the antagonist. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without Where any you at? supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. This, is, this tension building's too much. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Stop it. Hansel. 
Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. That ain't that long. Uh, oh, it's sure getting pretty damn dark. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. There they met a nice lady who its showed them the way back home and lived happily ever after as a family. The end. Of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. No nope. nibble, little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? A question I ask myself An every old day. Woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you did. I know by the time this story ends, I'm not going to be having a good time. Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back. For the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Trust your gut. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, Stranger danger. The old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, Followed. Dumbasses. <laughs> Once inside mm. the house, the old woman changed. Alan, where did you go? She stuffed Hansel into a cage. Oh, it's echoing. That's a nice touch. Put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up. I shall feast upon him. That sounds oddly sexual. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I like I am with all this suspense building. Brother, Gretel, climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said. Womp, the opening womp. is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, I know that song. brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the Sounds door. Sounds like it played like an old Looney Tunes or something when Gretel I was growing up. Gretel her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. Hope it's fair use. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Sick. Then they ate her. And then, because even Whoa! children can't survive on sweets. Okay. They divided up the body. I don't the always want to be right. And ate her. I don't remember the story ending that way. I, I, is that how that story ends? I don't remember it ending that way. The hell. I, I want off.